The downfall of Ice Spice has come as a surprise to many people, but I don't know why she has always been a mean person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. In today's video, I want to talk about the protections of pretty privilege, Ice Spice being mean, and make some jokes along the way. I hope you enjoy the video. Spice has reacted to losing over 540,000 followers after her feud with Cleopatra. So quick backstory, what started this recent round of hating on Ice Spice, she got in an argument with this woman named Cleo, Here's a quick recap. The whole entire story is like 30 minutes, so I'm just going to give you the quick worst parts of it. She calls her and is like, hey, Cleo, like, come on tour with me. I miss you. Cleo was given one day to prepare for this entire 30-day tour. But she had peace of mind because she was told that she would be accommodated, that she would be staying with ICE, that she would not be a problem. That was not the case during these 30 days of hell, as she describes it. The first couple days were so fun. It was cute, as she describes it. But then it all went downhill when they went to Philly. They're getting ready to go to the venue, and they're trying to figure out if they need to bring the bag. ICE was not not willing to let her security help Cleo out. They were basically telling her like, they're not gonna do more than they already do. But then when she said, I'll pay them, she said, no, it's like a flat rate. And then she's like, oh, so he'll move a house if you want him to, cause it's a flat rate, but you just don't want him to help me. Everything after this was bad because apparently when she said to perform at 8 p.m., Cleo will go on at like 7.25, 7.30. People aren't even there yet. That is shady. That is shady. She was calling her ungrateful. She was saying, I brought you on this. You're my childhood friend. Like, you're so ungrateful. Being really passive aggressive. Like, you can see the messages in her video, but it's like not cute at all. And like coupled with the recent scandal with Mads and Central C, like her behavior as a human being honestly is... I'll link Cleo's uh, TikTok in the comments if you want to go through the entire thing yourself. The reactions to the reaction of the video is surprising to me. Like a lot of people are like, wow, Ice Spice has always been a horrible friend and a horrible person. I'm like, wow, you're just you're just now noticing this? When she got famous in 2020 and she had already deleted all of her previous tweets, I already knew what type of timing she was on. Oh! cannot trick me! You cannot trick me! Especially because it wasn't like she barely used the app. She knew who all the big meme accounts were. She knew the lingo of Twitter. She was on the toxic part of Twitter. She knew exactly how to run the app, run the algorithm to blow up and to get famous. So it was kind of suspicious, kind of intriguing. You read a lot? I read a lot of tweets. I read a lot of comments. So I do read a lot. Why she didn't have any tweets before she got famous and her whole account was wiped. I knew it was only a matter of time before the mask slipped and the true mean girl of Ice Spice came out for the world to see. In May, I made a damn near three minute long video defending Ice Spice, saying that I loved her, saying that like, I'll always support her, like she'll always be an icon. I actually retract my previous statements. I did not mean any of that. I was running low on sleep. I was over caffeinated. And for me, it was shocking and really surprising it took this long because she's had so many controversies where she was clearly in the wrong and clearly the bad person in the situation. We'll get to her stealing a girl's man and cheating on her and then bragging about it. And we'll get to the her being a bad friend allegations a little later. But I want to focus on why it took so long for people to realize that Ice Spice is such a mean person. This might be a hot take, I'm not sure, but I don't think Ice Spice's fan base is a majority of women. I think it's mainly men who liked her. For proof of this, here is Ice Spice retweeting someone saying that women are just mad at Ice Spice because men love her. And this also plays into how she got famous in the first place because she her music has never really been good. And I'm glad that you guys are finally admitting that. Uh, but men just found her attractive and so they made her famous. This is also why she's keeping her relationship with Riot hidden because she understands that a lot of men follow her and it would break the fantasy that they have her being achievable for them. And that's one of the ways that she sells her music. And this is kind of really messed up and goes into a lot of dark places. But as soon as Ice Spice started losing weight, I've seen thousands of tweets talking talking about her body and body shaming her and saying that she is not attractive anymore. That coincides exactly with the rise of it being acceptable to not like Ice Spice and the, to have the narratives go around that she's not a good person. Some would say that her pretty privilege has run out. I've even seen people say that Ice Spice isn't that attractive to be this mean in the first place. You were not seeing this two to three years ago. Nobody was talking like this. Every single artist that Ice Spice has beef with or had beef with makes better music than her. I'm not even kidding. Dochi, duh. Lotto, absolutely. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Some of you guys may not classify it as beef, but if I was Nicki and she said what she said about me, knowing who I am, 
it would be beef or at least it would be an insult to me so nikki absolutely she knows that her art is not really what's the most favorite thing about her she knows that what she has going on for herself is her looks that's why she's completely reliant on her looks like these women have some sort of passion for their art whether they're rapping or singing they actually really care about that work and i don't think ice has the same passion and she knows that she's getting it by any one of them if she goes bar for bar hey no it is what it is but i suppose if i understood that i lack the talent in the department that i'm favored in the most i would also rely on something else to get my way and that's because for those who don't understand how cancel culture works us as creators aren't really canceled until our core audience gets mad at us so somebody like tana mojo can say a lot of horrible stuff in her past and be just fine and have a career and even run a canceled podcast. This latest controversy with Tana might be the end of her career because her core audience is of white women. A lot of them don't really care about racism, so it's kind of acceptable. It's bad. You shouldn't do it. They do care about Tana's angels, and I'm not touching that topic with a 10-foot pole because I already have the Ice Spice fans mad. I don't need the Tana ones too. But my point is, is that I don't think that she had a majority of women in her fan base to begin with, so she was allowed to get away with a lot of bad stuff. Like, she literally was body shaming a dark-skinned woman. Could you imagine anyone else getting away with that? Could you imagine if I body shamed a dark-skinned woman? Do you think that I would be canceled 100%? Yes, because y'all would never let me get away with that. But she slipped. That demonizes and weaponizes women with dark skin. If Cleo had to approach that situation any way other than what she did, y'all would be on this thing in a whole nother tune. She couldn't afford to leave that tour early or it would have gave into the narrative that she was difficult or entitled. She couldn't have overly spoke up the way that she wanted to without being deemed as aggressive. She couldn't have expressed her discomfort without looking like she was ungrateful for an opportunity. Cleo, I grew up watching your videos. So she's talentless and careerless and a nobody now that you have surpassed her due to society standard because it's not because of talent. Bye. She then bragged about taking another woman's man and she got away with that too. Imagine you break up with your boyfriend one night and the next day he is posted up with Ice Spice and Chrome Heart. I didn't even actually get to break up with him and he's already with the next girl. He gave me not even like 12 hours notice before he was being filmed in Chrome Hearts with her. The flight from America is 12 hours. She was already on the plane. It's fine to post up with her. He was fine to see me hurt and do it again and again and again and again and again and then laugh about it and when i saw like after i posted my tiktok videos and then i see him post his video and he's like laughing actually they both were I nearly did something paranormal. Twitter didn't even do the normal colorism debate about how Ice Spice has colorism and that's why she's successful. They didn't even do that with her. Like, bro, look at these tweets two years apart. When Ice first came out, everybody was praising her for not being colorist and like was loving her for it, even though the bar is like on the ground. And now everybody's like, wow, she's colorist and not a good person. But I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. She was actually colorist the entire time. And that's because she didn't have a woman audience and she had pretty privilege so men didn't really care about that but as she became less pretty to them that's when they stopped defending her and you're seeing more of this hate develop and get into the mainstream if you go back to the storm situation everybody was clowning on her and saying she was a clout chaser even though she had receipts she had screenshots she had evidence she had audio recordings nobody really cared because i spice had pretty privilege and storms didn't nobody really cared about it and so i spice was allowed to get away with whatever she wanted to do even if you go back to when she was joking about other women when men found her more attractive those women it was on twitter it was accepted people were retweeting the jokes they loved it nobody really cared about it nobody was trying to cancel her there was no woke mob saying oh my god you can't say that if you want to stop and look through it through a political woke lens ice spice basically said she didn't care about Palestine and she wasn't canceled at all. And she said this on Twitter, one of the wokest places on the planet. The tweets are still up. You can go back and read them. People were like, she's kind of right. You're kind of the bad friend in the situation. This is the same Twitter that's mad that Taylor Swift doesn't talk about Palestine and writes multi-thread tweets about it daily. And if I'm going to be completely honest, and people might be mad that I say this, but I don't care. I don't even think this is the, the top 10 worst things Ice Spice has done. Stealing someone's boyfriend and then making a song gloating about it and being mean to your friends, stealing their whole style, being mean to your mom and not helping out your brothers or sisters. This missed me so bad. We was just getting into it because it's like it do be hard to like maintain a relationship with somebody you grew up with. Or like they're not getting exactly what they want 
out of a situation the way that they want it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's when they decide to crash out every single time. Like, I'm noticing a pattern, bro. And you want me to try to, like, analyze this and figure out how I'm wrong when all I did was was share my stage with you? When I didn't even have to do that? You got less than 10,000 listeners and I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled. Like, you thinking that my my like my peoples that work for me is supposed to work for you too like that's so crazy to me like crash outs and they going on rants but fuck it though at the end of the day it's whatever bro like this shit comes with it you know like y'all see clearly this that this this will come with it bro right talking about some dark energy that is crazy to me bro that's so crazy to me like you're really gonna be friends with somebody for two years but the whole time you feel like they soulless and dark anyways yeah i'm about to actually go to sleep for real this time but i'm about to announce the the europe tour dates because for me the shit the shit go on but before today she was able to get away with all of that nobody really cared they defended her and went about their day this only mattered because it came at a time where ice spice wasn't as beautiful as people used to think she was the reason that i know this is true is when Aaliyah interlude i don't know if you guys know who that is but she was like a twitter influencer kind of person uh she was a part of a woke crowd and got starbucks and people were really mad at her and tried to cancel her and were calling her name nobody did that to ice spice nobody dared do that ice spice because and i would argue Aaliyah has more women in her fan base and women wanted her to do better and they didn't have that same standard for ice spice because a lot of men just follow her for her looks which is kind of really messed up when you stop and think about it and not to get too political but that's why i never take cancel culture seriously because a lot of the time it's just it's you don't really mean it if the person is pretty enough or you like them enough y'all let them do whatever they want anyway I hope you enjoy the video. Click here for the next one. Have a great day. Peace.